everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea, it's nice to have you guys here. Today I've got a coffee chat video and it really is just gonna be a coffee chat video. I don't have a topic. I just was sitting here feeling guilty about the fact that I really don't have any content to put up this week. I've got the weekly vlog, but last week's weekly vlog was tragically late. <laughs> they also just filmed a book related tag video to try to put up later this week. But yeah, so I think this is gonna kind of be, uh, I filmed a life update at the beginning of the summer, but I normally do like two of those a year. So I guess this is kind of like a mid, like an in-between, like a, a, a partial life update. I don't know. I just, I feel like I keep talking about bits and pieces of, of stuff in the vlogs and then the vlogs, the chatty bits get long and so I cut stuff out and then it's like, well, I still haven't, you know, talked about this in a vlog or a video in general and maybe it would be nice. So we're just going to have a bit of a chat. Update number one, got a new iPhone. I will have talked about this a little bit in the weekly vlog. Really excited about that. So I'll talk more about that in that vlog. I'm just gonna sit back and get a little bit more comfortable. I had a good Sunday. Um, it's not over yet, but it's been pretty nice. It's been a, it's been a nice week. I'm not gonna edit myself, no. It's been a nice week. It's been a long week. It's been an exhausting week. <laughs> this semester is just kind of flattening me. So the last update, life update video, was in at the beginning of the summer. I think it was like June, July. As I waited about six or eight weeks until after the breakup to do that life update video <laughs> and the breakup, the uh, that whole train wreck was the very end of April. So yeah, I probably did that vi the life update video in like early July, late June, early July. So yeah, in terms of heartbreak, I feel like my heart is still kind of taped back together. It hasn't fully mended. <laughs> and the thought of dating again is still like way, like I just can't even. But I feel like the really hard days are getting fewer and further between. I can still have moments where I just will start crying randomly or something else will happen and then that will kind of trigger feeling upset about things. After I filmed that first video, one of you who I think watches these videos, but also follows me on Instagram, sent me a DM on Instagram with a link to an article talking about an analogy for grief called the ball in the box analogy. So it's this idea that there's this box and on one of the walls of the box, there's this button, the pain button. And in the beginning, the ball inside the box is really, really big. And so it almost always is slamming up against that pain button. And over time, the ball gets a little bit smaller. And as it's bouncing around, a lot of the time it just misses the pain button, but every now and then it hits the pain button. And I feel like my ball has gotten a lot smaller. And so for the most part, that pain button doesn't get pushed. But every now and then, <laughs> it does. And those days or those afternoons or mornings or whatever really suck. It still hurts, it still sucks. I've never really been in the situation, so I'm still finding my way and it's still really, really hard. And I'm still just so, 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 so grateful for all of you guys who keep leaving amazing comments, particularly on the vlogs where I have been talking about this a bit and who send me DMs on Instagram and, you know, keep reminding me that like everything I'm feeling is normal and you understand and you're giving me advice and everyone's just being so wonderful and supportive and it has made this so much better and a lot easier than it would have been if I hadn't. And I have amazing friends in person, like in real life, like offline, you know, keep checking in and, you know, let me know that it's still okay to talk about it. And one of my friends in particular, like it had been a few months and I was feeling like maybe I should be like past a lot of the worst of this and just we were hanging out one night and she brought it up and she's like, you know, there is no, 
statute of limitations there is no expiration date for when you can't talk about this like if you want to talk about it I'm still here and like it makes me want to cry just thinking about that because I think it is easy when you're going through something like this to feel like once you're past that initial shock of the breakup that like you are expected to just get over it and to not be talking about it and thinking about it all the time and so to have friends bring it up and say hey I'm still here to listen if you still want to talk about it but I'm also here to distract you and to do other things if you don't want to talk about it like to just have someone give me the emotional space to do what I need to do and to still cry about it if I need to cry about it which I'm getting emotional now so we're gonna stop um, but yeah it really means a lot and it's been amazing so that's where we are on the heartbreak front switching gears other topic to update on uh, work and um, teaching is going well but oh my god it is exhausting teaching is going well I'm loving my students I'm teaching three online sections and then two condensed sessions that are back to back so I'm teaching one of those sessions now that will end in mid-October and then I'll start the next one so it's great because it means I'm only teaching four classes at a time instead of five so that's been great but it's three hour classes twice a week <laughs> so it's a lot it's a lot but I am enjoying it and I love working with these students, working with them essentially for six hours every week. Um, I'm getting to know them pretty well and we're building good relationships and it's a lot of fun. I just really enjoy working with them. Um, but even some of my online students have, you know, they've been really good about emailing me and communicating with me. One of them has even come to my office, which is great because I feel like I never get to meet my online students in person. So she just made my day when she came into the office. So it's going really well and I'm having a really good time. I feel like second year is going well. I've learned a lot from the first year and I'm enjoying myself and it's all good. So teaching's going well, that's all going well, which is great. Um, London is coming up in a month <laughs> as of filming this. As of filming this, yeah, I fly, because it is September 22nd, I fly in 30 days. I think it's exactly 30 days. Yeah, 30 days, 30 days, I fly to London. <sighs> I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> I will be so excited once it's time and once I go, but yeah, I'm just thinking of the mountain of work I have to get done. And it is an actual mountain of work. But yeah, there's a lot to prepare for for London. I've got to get the conference paper ready because it's not ready yet. I have a paper. I have a paper. But it is not yet a conference presentation. It's still a seminar paper from a class ages ago. So I really need to refine the argument and refine my findings. And then I need to put it into a paper, into a presentation. And then I also need to adapt it to an article because I want to submit it to the journal. Which technically isn't due until after the conference, but not that long after the conference. But I really want to have as much of that done before the conference as possible. So that's going to be a lot. But I'm really excited. I think the rest of this month and the beginning of October, what you can expect in the weekly vlogs is a lot of like conference preparation, travel preparation. The two weeks prior to the trip in particular will be, those vlogs will be a lot of preparation and packing related. Um, I'm not sure how many sit down videos I'm going to do related to those things um, but some of that content will definitely be in the weekly vlogs and I will be sure to title those weekly vlogs accordingly so if one of the weekly vlogs is packing for London then that will be the title of the weekly vlog um, so you'll know it's not just a vlog that like if you want to see my packing tips watch that vlog. Content update. You guys have probably noticed content has been very sporadic. I am trying. I am doing my best, but I'm also just letting myself off easy if something doesn't get filmed, if something doesn't get edited in time. Hence the reason weekly vlog 37 is going up on a Sunday night 
instead of a Wednesday morning <laughs> like usual. So I'm trying to still get content out, but I also, I hate filming something just for the sake of filming to have a video. If things are busy or if I'm just not in the right headspace, I'm just not filming. But for London, you can definitely, in the two or three weeks prior, so starting pretty soon here, there will be packing related videos. I will probably do an updated travel anxiety video. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments if there are specific travel related videos that you want to see. I know there will be a what's in my makeup bag, but that will be filmed in London with a special guest. Stay tuned for that. Some of you will probably know who that special guest is, but I'm very excited to be filming some collab videos while I'm there, then I will obviously be vlogging London. This time, because I'm traveling with my mom, I'm not going to be by myself. I'm not going to guarantee that there will be a new vlog uploaded every day. The last time I was in London, I did pretty good about vlogging, vlogging through the day, editing at night, and uploading a video the following morning every day that I was there. Whereas the previous time I was in London, the first round of London vlogs, I vlogged every day but then didn't really upload them until after I got back. I'm still going to try to upload videos while I'm there, but it just might not be every day. But I will be vlogging every day, so there will be a separate vlog for every day of the trip, with the exception of the two conference days. Those will either be shortened vlogs or I might condense, combine those vlogs, which I think is what I did the last time I was there. Because on the conference days, I can't really vlog at the conference and then there's not a whole lot that happens after the conference each of those days. Um, a little bit more so on the second day, but the first day I've got the conference all day and then the conference dinner and then back to the hotel to sleep because I present on the second day of the conference this year. So I'm definitely gonna like go straight back to the hotel and sleep after the conference dinner. I'm not gonna be like going out and doing anything, but we will go out after the conference on the second day. So that might have a little bit more to vlog. That will be like days three and four or something like that, those two days might get combined into one vlog. But for the most part, I will be vlogging every day and then I will up, I will edit and upload those as quickly as I can. But I wanna make sure that I'm enjoying myself. But because I'll be with mom each night, you know, we might go out and do more stuff. I might not get back to the hotel as early as I did when I was by myself. So um, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to edit every single night but I will try to have a vlog going up at least a few vlogs while I'm there and then the rest will get edited and uploaded when I get back. So there will be approximately 10 vlogs from London because I think we're there, I think we're there for 10 days including travel days. So yeah, so there will be lots of London content coming. So I'm excited about that. I won't be doing Vlogtober this year like I did last year because I'm going to London at the end of October, so I didn't want Vlogtober to just run into the London vlogs, but I will try to make sure that I am vlogging a little bit more um, throughout the month of October just to cover everything that I'm doing to prepare for the trip. So that should be good, and trying to think of anything else to update you on as far as London goes. I'm excited, I'm nervous and I'm scared because there's just so much that has to get done. Um, but I'm really excited to be there again. I'm thrilled that I've got the new iPhone because it means I can take, like I'm already dying over the camera on this thing. So between my new vlogging camera and the new iPhone, I think I'm gonna capture some amazing content. Oh, book, that's the other update, so book update. I'm definitely thinking that launching and releasing the book before London was very optimistic and ambitious, overly optimistic and ambitious of me. I don't think it's going to happen before London. I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen before London. I'm still editing it. I definitely feel like I've got... It's hard to... Like, I'm doing it in 30 minute, an hour, and one hour increments each day. So it's hard for me to say like I've got two weeks of editing left or three weeks of editing left. I'm hoping that I can have it mostly edited before I go to London so that when I get back from London, I can then like go into like serious like formatting and 
launch preparation phase. And as soon as I feel like I've got a date that I think I can commit to, I will be announcing that. There will be some kind of book cover reveal as soon as I get my book cover finished. But yeah, once there's a cover and a date, that will probably all get announced in the same video. And I'm hoping I can have some kind of pre-order link at some point, but obviously I've got to know that the book will be completed um, by a certain time. <laughs> I am still aiming on having the book up before the end of 2019. So if not before London, definitely probably not before London, but hopefully shortly after I get back from London and I feel like worst case it will be shortly after the end of the fall semester. I think I can get it edited throughout the rest of the semester and get the formatting and stuff done. I might just have to wait until after the semester is done to like really have the time and the mental brain space to like sit down and figure out all the technicalities of it. But it could end up going faster. So I don't want to say definitely not until December because it could end up being sooner, but I also can't say definitely before London because I don't think that's going to happen. I think that was a bit too ambitious, but I will keep you posted and there will be a video coming shortly on kind of my process of writing this novel, everything I've gone through from first idea to where I am right now, and then I will be documenting the rest of the process of like how I format it and how I deal with Amazon and what that whole process is like. So if any of you have gone through this process and have advice or have resources or links you can share, please do. That would be amazing and I would love you forever. So definitely stay tuned on here and on Instagram and I will update you as soon as there is anything to update you. But I am planning on filming some extra content and taking extra pictures and such in London. Um, the book is set in London, so I really wanna use the trip to get a lot of marketing material and just capture a lot of image and video content that I can use for the marketing of the book. So um, what you see in the London vlogs won't be all of the London content that will get uploaded eventually. So there will be lots of bonus stuff coming. Um, and I'm really excited for that. Stay tuned because some of that will start going out. Um, I will be starting the kind of pre-pre-launch social media marketing soon, fingers crossed. I'm waiting for my social media person to kind of get settled back into uni. She's starting back at uni um, this month. But once she's settled a bit, we're gonna start brainstorming some ideas. And so once I've got some of that going, I will be sure to update you on that as well. So that's the update. That's the coffee chat. My coffee, my cold coffee has now gotten warm. Yeah, might have to go throw an ice cube in this to finish it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will have tried to have put a warning somewhere in the description box for how long and rambly this kind of got, but once I got started, I realized there actually was quite a bit to update you on. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It re I really appreciate that. It does help me kind of know how these videos land with you guys. If you liked it, I would also really appreciate a comment. Say hi, um, especially on these chatty videos and on the vlogs. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. I know I've been slow at replying, but I do read every comment and I do reply eventually <laughs> to every comment. So yeah, please say hi in the comments. Let me know how you are doing. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. That would be amazing too. And I will see you all soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye-bye.